Hi everyone! Tom was here back at it with another unboxing video and today we have something interesting from the BAM box. Um, about a few weeks after Black Friday, say like mid-December, BAM box put this on sale. And what this is, and it's a bold claim, is that according to the BAM box, in this box here, in this tiny box, there is a thousand plus dollars worth of autographs. This is an all autographs box. Now, when you think of the BAM box and their claims, they can be hit or miss at times. They can exaggerate uh, a little bit. Um, but it is a very bold statement to say that there's a thousand dollars worth of autographs in this box and it may be something where it's potentially a liquidation or product dump, um, which you may be thinking. So, we're going to be the judge of that. We're going to check this out, and we are going to see what it's all about. This is the BAM Mega Autograph Box with $1,000, not just $1,000, sorry, $1,000 plus in value. And we're going to do the Pepsi Challenge on that. On Tom was here. Hey, how do you like this? I'm Danny Israel, and you're watching Tom was here. Okay, so all we know is that there are all autographs in this box. My guess is the majority of them was from previous BAM boxes. Now, my hopes for them being having some uh, ultras or some specialty autographs or some Funko Pops or weapons or some unique and interesting things were kind of dashed based on seeing this box. My guess is it'll be a large collection of 8x10s um, from previous BAM boxes. Now, uh, they did a live stream, like a State of the Union BAM live stream that they always do. And there was a mention that there might be items that were never in any previous BAM boxes. So we're going to check that out as well. Somebody called them out when they po put out the post for this saying, oh, it's just going to be a bunch of, you know, leftover cartoon box whatever things um and the guy responded said no it won't be that there might be so, some some all also some random unique interesting things that we're gonna put in there so let's check into it and see what's in here okay now it looks to me is there some that have a top loader but the majority of them are, are the bagged and boarded style. And they look like a boatload of 8x10s. That's what it looks like. My hope for anything ultra, mega, doesn't look like there's anything in terms of... Uh, there's no unique items, no props, no anything like that. So, first one is actually a good one. I might even get this box. Um, this is um, Clark Gregg from... Um, Oh, he was Agent Coulson in the Avengers and also Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, but that is actually a good one. Um, maybe actually something worth keeping. The one thing I was concerned about was that there wouldn't be anything in here worth keeping. And when this box came out, I was reluctant, admittedly reluctant, because I was like, man, I don't know if this would be good value. But I did the math on it, and if I sold everything in the box at $10 per item... It would turn a profit. So, and I know some of these will probably sell for more than $10 an item. So, I figured I'd give it a shot just to see if there's anything worth keeping as well. This is, uh, well, this is The Last of Us. And considering she has a nice autograph, I'm assuming that is Hannah Hayes, um, who plays the voice of this character. I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't like The Last of Us all that much. Um, even though it went through... A large section of it went through my hometown of Pittsburgh. Um, I just hated the fact that they made it especially difficult. Like, you know what I mean? You know when you have a game that you actually you shoot someone and they drop a gun, but you can't pick up the ammo or the gun to make it, like, extra hard? Like, that, the gun, like, disappears. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that, that was, that's a, something that always annoyed me. That doesn't add to the realism um, and some of these, if I don't, I'm going to try to put the names under it if I don't know the names offhand. Um, 
Okay, this is a Resident Evil. Looks like limited to 99, 96 of 99. Um, Chris Redfield. And is that Joe White? Would that be the name? Potentially would be the name. Um, but that's cool that it's a limited to 99 print. Uh, I don't know if that adds. The, I assume that adds to the value. Interesting. So I'm sure this is something the boy's going to take from me. He didn't, he, he's in a, we're in a Madden coin debate right now. So he is not, um, he didn't want to come down and do the video. Um, so he's going to regret this on this one because he would be stealing this right now. I have no idea based on the signature who this is, but this is a Spider-Man video game. Um, and looks like potentially the voice of Spider-Man. Um, but I don't know the name. So I'm going to have to look that one up because I do not know the name. But that's a cool one. And it looks to be there are a lot of gamer ones for sure. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Is that looks like a Star Wars thing? Is that like the Clone Wars? Couldn't tell you the name. Couldn't tell you the character. <laughs> I just simply do not know. Um, yeah, I do, I do not know. And, and I said it might not even be the Clone Wars. I'm not sure. Um, oh, we got one of these out of the other box. The other mega box. Um, this is... Oh, what's her name? Uh, we got a different version, though. This is Maya from Borderlands. But I cannot remember her name offhand um, when we got it. Uh, but, yeah. That is d definitely a lot of gamer autographs, if you've noticed so far. Oh, we got this out of the Mega Box as well. A different version, though. Tony Cox um, from Bad Santa. That's a cool one. Um, considering I already have one of his, I have to decide which one is the keeper. Probably the one with him and Billy Bob, because I potentially, as mentioned, can get Billy Bob added to it. We got this out of the Mega Box as well. <laughs> this is, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Jeffrey Combs, Reanimator. Um, so we got that out of the uh, the Mega Box as well. And even the one in the Mega Box and this one, doesn't it kind of look like the paint pen was like dying a little bit on that? Um, where it looks a little bit rough. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Not a bad signature. Um, but yeah, just definitely looks like the paint pen was on its way out. Okay, we got... Um, the voice of Lucy from Charlie Brown. Now, is that... I, I couldn't tell you her name, um, but is that the original voice of Lucy, or is that Lucy, like, as it stands currently? Has there been a Lucy voice over the years? Um, but yeah, maybe someone can let me know in the comments on that, but I will put her name below. Oh, I think I got these out of one of the actual band boxes I got before. One of the old ones, this one from a few years back. Um, this is Gem from Gem and the Holograms. Uh, did not watch that when I was a kid. Um, didn't, it did not get into my wheelhouse. And yet another one that we got in the Bam Geek Box. Um, Teddy Sears, who was Zoom. Um, but it, but I will say a different version. Uh, a different version than what we got from the actual box. Because I think we got one of these in the actual BAM box, and then one in the Mega Geek Black Friday box, and now this one. They were all different versions of it, so that's kind of cool. Okay, here's where I just don't... Uh, is it Wendy Lee or Wanda Lee? Uh, but it is anime. Uh, not familiar in the least with, with anime and not have no idea what this is from or what this is. Um, but... Yeah, I can't even tell you. Queen Serenity, maybe? Maybe you can, somebody can let me know in the comments down on that. Oh, we've reached the anime section of the box. I'm not... <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, anime. Anime gang, I just don't know who they are. Yep. Yeah, I see they just took, like, stack. Like, they had, like, the anime bin and the geek bin and the gamer bin. And they just put a... um. They just grabbed a stack of each, basically, is what I would what I would assume there. Yeah, that, um, another anime, I do not know. I have no idea. This is my story tagline. And don't, just don't know. I just don't know. Sorry, I do not know. 
Uh, yeah. Ichiro, perhaps? Still, still don't, still don't know. <laughs> still don't know. Okay, this at least, this one helps me a little bit. It's Dragon Ball Z. Looks like an old Beckett authenticated, um, not the new ones. Cynthia something. Looks like Cynthia crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I assume that's not her name. Um, but Chi Chi maybe? Yeah, I just don't, I just don't know. Oh, here's an old one. Um, and uh, I actually traded for one of these or bought one of them or something. I don't even know where it is now. Um, but the hopes were being that I would always get the arcade version of it, but you can't find it anymore. Other The arcade one up one, that is. Um, NBA Jam, the voice of NBA Jam, but I can't remember his name. Um, but I have a Boom Shakalaka one somewhere. And the idea was it was always going to sit next to the NBA Jam cabinet. Um, but that's actually cool. I did want that one at one point or another. Okay. And that's uh, Devil May Cry. I do not know the voice, but that's Dante. I think he's like the main guy, I think. Um, but then another gamer. The NBA Jam one was a gamer. Okay. This is the voice of Donatello, um, which I assume this is the... Either the Nickelodeon version, maybe? It's not in the original 80s cartoon version, I don't think. Maybe it's the same guy. I doubt it, though. Um, but yeah, there's a Donatello in there. Um, is this an anime or is this a game? Looks kind of like a game, but... You don't know... Is that like a Me Mega Man, maybe? Or... I don't know. Um, not sure on the game, not sure on the character, not sure on the person who signed it. Um, okay, another gamer. It's Ellen McLean Portal 2. So a Portal 2 Ellen McLean signed item. I'm not sure. Is she the voice of... Uh, or is she this character, I would assume? She's not the voice of the uh, thing. Okay, more um, gamer stuff. God of War. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't play any of the God of War games, although people told me to play it, and I just never ended up playing them. Uh, now my son's playing the new God of War game. He's been around on that. Ooh, is this a cartoon jet uh, bow? Yeah. Don't know this one either. <laughs> I, it could be anime. It could be cartoon. I'll be honest. Do not know. Okay. I know this one. Um, so this is E.T. And is that... Um, it's not a Henry Thomas, is it? And then it must be. If it's not, no, I'm assuming it's signed over ET, then it must be like, is it the Matthew Demerit, I think, or something like that? That was the actual ET in the costume, maybe? I'll have to double check that one. It, it may be somebody different. <laughs> but considering it's just Elliot and ET in that picture, then who's to say? Uh, Dave Boat. Boot. Dane Boot. Could be anything. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, whoever Kyle is from whatever game, um, is that like a, what's that game where like they're cartoony, um, Overwatch maybe? Oh, that was a deep guess, I don't know. Uh, oh. Okay, I would assume the voice of Doc Ock from the Spider-Man game, so the boy is probably gonna steal that from me too. It's West, or what, I don't know. <laughs> I like when it's easier when certain autographs are easy to read. Oh, that's cool. Um, that would be the voice of Wendy from South Park. I do not know her name, um, but a a something. And it could be anything. Ashley, Angela, something. Okay. So yeah, just a few left. Ooh, ones are a little stuck together. Okay, this is American Dad. Um, whoever plays the voice of the kid there. 
Scott, maybe something. Not sure who that is. Um, but yeah, I I used to watch American Dad, and then it went to like TBS. I watched like early seasons, but not. And is it still going? Actually, is American Dad still going? Okay, so that's kind of a cool one. Um, and then we're around the Christmas season. Um, this is Joe Dante, who's the director of Gremlins. Um, a, a Christmas classic. <laughs> um, that's cool, actually. That, that one, um, I, I was always fascinated with when I saw people pulling it out of the band box. Alright, we're down to our last one here. And then we'll see, we'll do a tally and see. And it is... Is that maybe... That's not Timmy. I don't know who that character is. But the Fairly Odd Parents um, is the character. I assume that, that's another cartoon box here. So let's do the tally here. See how many autographs we actually pulled down in this. There were quite a few. Um... You know, a lot of them were the gamer. There are some anime ones. There are some... It's a mix. It's definitely a mix of, of different genres, for sure. Um, so you get a little bit of everything, which is kind of cool. Um, but it definitely, you know, it definitely screams of a product dump as well. Uh, so, all right. Let's see how we did here. 31. So it said between 30 and 40. And I, if I counted this right, I got the bare minimum of that. I got 31. And I'm going to assume that I only got 31 because I got maybe the Clark Gregg that wasn't everybody's box or a limited to 99 print because it wasn't everybody's box. But I have actually, unlike most other times, I have actually seen people open these. And, um, and I saw a lot of people get like 35, 36, you know, different items. And it kind of dashed my hopes of getting anything specialty, getting anything ultra, any of the drops or anything like that. Um, so it's definitely a product dump. And there's no way, there's no conceivable way, no matter what way you slice it, um, that there's a thousand dollars worth of autographs in here. Now. If you take it with the BAM, you know, with the Beckett certification, and there's 31 autographs here, and let's, and I know BAM gets a break on that. I'm sure they do because of the large volume. But let's say each Beckett certification costs ten dollars, um, then that cost, the additional cost, has already exceeded the price of what this box was. So, in that circumstance, sure. And some of these items, I'm probably going to be able to sell for beyond the $10 price point. So I probably will make a profit on this box, even if the boy takes some of these, some of the Spider-Man ones. Um, and, um, you know, if I decide to keep, say, the Avengers one or something like that. But that'll do it. Let me know your thoughts on this box. Um, did you grab this one? Did you get any unique Pulls. Did anybody get any unique pulls that weren't in a previous BAM box? See, that was the... Uh, see, the thing with BAM box, and I think people get upset by it, is that uh, there's usually bold claims that are made by the BAM box for various reasons. Like, oh, this thing's worth $1,000, or this is a box you can't miss, that's a box you can't miss, everything's a box you can't miss, um, and then you get it, and then you go like, oh, I probably could have missed that. Um, but... With this one, the value was there for me, for sure, because of the volume of it. Now, I kind of got shortchanged in that regard where I saw people get far more autographs than, not far more, but I saw people get, come down with four or five to six more autographs. No one that I've seen got the 40. It said between 30 to 40, but no one got 40. Let's put it that way. Uh, also, no one got any specialty items. No one got any drops, no one got any ultra items, no one got any um, unique items that were never in another BAM box. So that claim was the... I mean, unless unless one of these anime ones or something like that were just sitting around, 
I don't feel that anybody got anything special other than like, oh, these items just been sitting around in bins. We need to get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. So that'll do it. The BAM Mega Autograph Collectors Super Box, whatever you want to call it. Um, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, a Tom Was Here t-shirt, you can do so. It's spread shirt, as well as link to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, Clubhouse, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collectors Association. The links are in the description below. Do you have any interest in any of the items in this box? Um, did you get it yourself? Do you, let's put it this way. If you have any interest in any of the items in this box, let me know and we can you know, reach out on something and, and make something work because the vast majority, I'll be honest, the vast majority of these items um, are getting the, the heave ho in some form or fashion, either you know by sale, by trade, or what have you. Um, but that'll do it. Very curious to see if anything got anyone got anything special in any of these, anything unique in any of these. But, guys, thanks so much for watching, and until the next video, I will see you soon. But until then, bye everyone.